So how can I go about quickly connecting nodes? This is a very good tip to know, especially if you are working with a really large network and you're zoomed out far away, such as if I come in here and zoom out really far. Now, what if I needed to connect things up? A lot of beginners, of course, are going to come zooming in because they know that to connect nodes, we'll simply click on an output click on an input and we've made that connection. But what if you are working in a state in which you can't see these input and output tabs? Let me go ahead and demonstrate how we can do it quickly. I'm simply going to click on each of these inputs and then click off in space to disconnect everything. I'd also like to point out that of course with these edit nodes we have two different inputs and that's going to become important in just a second as well. So let's zoom out now so that we no longer see the little inputs there we go so now we're just looking at boxes and this is you know a very common theme when working with very large networks so how can we go about connecting these nodes up quickly well I'm gonna hold alt down on the keyboard and while holding alt I'll click on the node in which I wanna take an output from and then I'll simply move my mouse over the node I wanna connect to and while holding alt anywhere over this node Click, and there you can see we now have a connection. Very convenient. It kept me from having to zoom in on the node so that I could see the inputs and outputs. Now, what happens if you're dealing with a node that has two different inputs? Well, take a look at this. As I move my mouse over where these two inputs would be, you'll notice how they both glow. So this is convenient, of course. Alt, and I can just come in here and click. And then once again, I can just simply select which side would I like for this connection to go into. So of course, with this edit, I'm just gonna do it on the left. And then let's go ahead and click again and click. So a very fast way of connecting nodes up without having to zoom in so that you can see those input and output tabs. And that's pretty much everything I wanted to demonstrate in this quick, how do I? Thanks a lot, guys.